If you're even dimly aware of the emulation scene, the recent PCSX2 update should excite you. We got the new big picture mode, enhanced patch support and integrated retro achievements. So PS2 emulation has never been more accessible. But it's the games we're most interested in. And here too, the emulator has taken strides to improve compatibility across the board. For example, the burnout games no longer have the black sky issue. Lights aren't showing through buildings and trees either. It all just works. All of this just works. Other games have gotten the treatment as well, like Destroy All Humans and the Ace Combat series. But what you may not know is that several problematic games have been fixed, apart from the ones already mentioned. Starting in alphabetical order, we have Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. Until recently, it still had minor graphical glitches, but now it's rendered perfectly. Gamers have been complaining about Bully for years now. The graphics were terribly ghosted when upscaled, and performance wasn't that great either. But now it looks really good. The ghosting effect isn't entirely gone, yet it's so imperceptible that I would consider it fully playable. Driver 3 was plagued with garbage lighting and textures as you can see here, but now it looks miles better thanks to recent updates. Midnight Club 2 had severe performance issues, often chugging along in the low 20s. When I tested it now, it was going at full speed and without a hitch. Primal was released back in 2003, yet remained one of the most graphically impressive games on the console. It used to be hampered with a black screen when upscaled, but now you can run it at any resolution and without fear of performance loss. PCSX2 developers have been on record saying that Project Snowblind is one of the most challenging games to get working on the emulator. For the longest time, it could only be played in software mode due to graphical bugs, but now it's fully playable. Spider-Man 2 was mostly okay before the update. It just had broken shadows. But that can be an eyesore and somewhat distracting over a longer period of time. Now everything seems to be fine though. Test Drive Unlimited looks perfect, although I don't know if road reflections are working. I think it only becomes visible during rain, but I'm not sure. Having said that, the game's performance used to be really poor and upscaling caused many graphical artifacts. I'm cautiously placing Test Drive in the playable category, but feel free to correct me in the comments. Vex only had one major issue, and that was a buggy underwater renderer. You could literally see nothing because of the distortion. Yet, after the update, this was completely fixed. WRC3 is many people's favourite rally game on the PS2, and for a long time it ran like a slideshow on the emulator. Luckily, we can enjoy it now in all its glory, and even when upscaled to 4K. Unfortunately, not all games were improved by the update. Here are 10 games that still need work to become fully playable.
found this video useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.